Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about some changes that every business might, every project might want for a duplicate invoice. So here I'm showing you FV60 and I'm entering a duplicate invoice, okay? So let me show what duplicate invoice I'm entering, okay? So I have a duplicate invoice already created. So let me do one thing. I'll just go here and go to FB03 so that it's clear for everyone, okay? And here I'll put this and here you see this is the duplicate invoice. I, I have already entered. Now I suppose AP gets another invoice and they are entered. Okay, so I'll just enter the same thing. So I'll populate here, I'll put the reference number, these, the invoice date is the same, and I'll just put 200, okay. and now I'll click save. Here it gives you a warning message, if you see, it gives you a warning message that it has been entered, it has been entered, it has been entered, all these, they're giving warning message, and when I click on save, okay, it gets saved. Now the requirement is in SAP anything warning is useless. You have to make it an error. So how can you make this message as an error message? So in order to do this, you have to go to this transaction SPRO. So I'll go to SPRO. Okay. I'll go to SAP this reference guide cross application. And here I will select bank directory, change message control. And here I will search for application area five. Okay, so this has been locked already. Okay, let me close this so that. So now I will say click no, and I'll again hit this, and then click F five. And here, by default, this may not be saved. Okay, but you might have to create a new entry. So what I'm going to do is I'll just delete it, and you will have only this entry proudly created okay now you might say okay click now new entries here you will just put 117 okay and uh, you say warning you say online you say e and the batch input you say suppose e also okay and you press enter okay the entry with this key is marked for deletion okay let me see okay, now i'll have to go back here Yes, save changes, I'll do this, then I'll click enter, click F5, click new entries, 117, I'll put this as E, and this as E, okay, I'll save it, okay, now it's saved, you can see, the check document, now we will try to enter the same thing again, so I'm in FV60, let me go start from scratch, FV60, this and here I put the vendor number. I change this. A control C. I know the reference number. Oops. And here I'll populate this and I put two hundred dollars. Now you see I'm putting this. It give me this error. Now it says this. Now here this didn't give me a warning next one will give me see now it's an error message when it's red like this it's error so you cannot even see it okay so it's stopped you can't do anything so if i click on save it's it's just going in an infinite loop and i cannot enter so that stops me from creating a duplicate invoice and i can reissue duplicate payment and all those things and then you have to ask for the vendor for credit and all those things that the the accounts payable department will not love to do okay so this is the way to do it that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have a great day